Hi kids and parents, thanks for tuning in today. For our Corps of Engineers STEM experiment, we're going to be exploring sound and whether we can make music with water. What you'll need, identical water glasses, water, measuring cup or large water pitcher, one wooden spoon or any plastic utensil. Food coloring is optional. So, did you know that you can create music with almost anything? Have you ever wondered about the mystery behind how sound travels? Have you ever been on the water and you can hear even the smallest of sounds loudly? The reason for this is because sound travels about four to five times faster in the water than in the air. So the water is affecting the speed and vibration of the sound waves. For today's experiment, we'll look at how altering the amount of a substance in an object like water in a cup impacts its pitch. And for those of you who are wondering what exactly pitch is, it's how people perceive whether a note in your favorite song or musical instrument is either high or low. So for today's experiment, we'll use water, five glass cups, and a wooden utensil to demonstrate different pitches. You're going to see right before your eyes when you tap glasses, even at the exact same spot, with the same spoon, at the same strength, if they have different amounts of water, the sound will be different. We'll take the water and put a little bit in each cup. The important thing is that you need to put a different amount in each one. Let's put a little bit of water in the first cup. A little bit more in the second one. The third, fourth, and fifth, and so on until the very last cup you use is almost full. The next part is optional, but we'll put some food coloring in each glass just to allow you to see the different levels of water in each cup. Now we get to play. Using a spoon, gently tap each glass and listen to this for the sound it makes. Can you tell me why each of the cups makes a different musical sound or why some are low pitch and some are high pitch? For those of you that guessed it's because of the amount of water or air in the cup, good job. Now, which glass produces a lower sound and which one produces a higher sound? You'll notice that the glass that has the most air or least water has the highest pitch, while the one with the least air or most water generates the lowest pitch. Now, why do you think each glass makes a different sound? When you tap one of the glasses, the spoon or utensil creates a sound wave that travels through the water inside. The pitch of the sound, high or low, depends on the rate of the sound wave's vibration. Lower pitch sounds come from slower vibra vibrations, while higher pitch sounds come from faster vibrations. The more water a glass contains, the slower the sound of the wave's vibration. Now, our demonstrator is going to play a song for you using the glasses.
For any one of you that wants to try this experiment and follow along, feel free to play or make your own song. Experiment with more glasses, a different amount of water, or even glasses with different shapes or sizes. Once you're comfortable tapping your glasses, record yourself playing the song and submit it to your teacher. Good luck and thanks for sharing.